Welcome to our daily service. Let's begin by saying together these words. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. This week we're reflecting on what you might call the first Christmas carol. It was sung by an excited Mary. The angel Gabriel had appeared to her and afterwards she rushed off to visit her cousin Elizabeth. When she arrived, Elizabeth exclaimed, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the child you will bear. And in response, Mary sings this song. Let's say part of it together. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. This song is called the Magnificat because of verse 46. My soul glorifies or magnifies the Lord. So what is it about God that sparks her joy, that causes her spirit to rejoice in God her Saviour? Well, the mighty God has done great things for her. He's given her a son. Now I know all babies are special, but this one really is special. This child will be the fruit of her womb. He's a human being just like you and me. And yet he's also the Lord, the Word become flesh. It's the wonder of the Incarnation. And not surprisingly, from now on, all generations will call Mary blessed. She's the mother of our Saviour. She's famous now, but when she first sang this song, she wasn't. She was a nobody from nowhere. She didn't go to a top school or have successful parents or belong to the right class. And yet what causes her to sing is who the Lord is concerned with. God has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. How surprising of God and yet how typical of God. God's never been impressed with the successful and the prosperous and the influential. His holiness expresses itself in opposing the proud and lifting up the humble. And so look who he's mindful of. It's Mary, a poor, unmarried, teenage girl from Nazareth. And yet he's not just mindful of her. She isn't a one-off. You can sing with Mary's joy when you become like Mary. My soul glorifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. God continues to lift up the humble. God's salvation isn't for those who are proud, who feel they have no need of God, who are full of their own achievements and successes, who look down on others and want others to look up on to them. Mary tells us it's for the humble. Those who know they don't have what it takes whose hands are empty, who can't save themselves. It's for real people, ordinary people, with real names, and real stories and real mess. And because it's for those people, it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from, what you've done or what you haven't done. The key is, are your hands empty or your arms open? Because if they are, then you can celebrate. Because this God who's mighty is also mindful of you. When you admit, I don't have what it takes. I need you. In him, we can have real joy this Christmas. Amidst the family time and the presence and the food, and also in the middle of the darkness and loneliness and grief. 
in him we can find real joy. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. Let's respond to God's word by singing our carol for today. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Let's pray together. Loving Lord, thank you that you led your glory by, that you, the eternal Son, became flesh and were born into our world, so that we might not die, but instead be raised to new life and enjoy a second birth. Like Mary, please fill us with joy this Christmas and enable us to live humble lives always grateful for what you have done for us. For your glory. Amen. A prayer for doctors and nurses. Gracious Father, at this Christmas time, we thank you for all our doctors, nurses and emergency workers. Thank you for the skills you have given them, which enable them to bring hope, healing and wholeness to those in their care. Please give them the wisdom and patience they need to diagnose and treat their patients well. Help them combine sympathy with firmness and love with understanding. Uphold them when they grow weary and guard them from despair 
when human problems seem intractable, where they know guidance and support in times of pain and frustration, when their skills are not enough to prevent permanent injury, disability or death. And we prefer those in medical administration, enable them to allocate resources wisely and to plan with care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Gracious God, thank you for bringing to our country people from many races and cultures. Take away the mistrust and lack of understanding that so easily divide us. Increase in us true humility and love for strangers. Remove racism from our midst, that we may share this land and its bounty, and all may hear the gospel of our Saviour Jesus Christ and know his love. Amen. Let's finish our prayers by saying together the collect for today. God our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant that, as she looked for his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. May you have a joyful Christmas this week.